Yeah, I mean, I think it's easy at least to be excited, right? Like, I don't know, optimistic is like, I'm not optimistic that they're going to make the 10 seed, to be honest, Um, but I'm optimistic that like, you're going to make an additional move in the off season and I can just focus on what are we building with Fox and Sabonis pairing and how does DiVincenzo finish out the year and Davion Mitchell, can he keep up um, the kind of offensive emergence we've seen from him? So I'm optimistic for the future, like going into next season. Uh, for the rest of this year, they, they got an uphill battle to make this 10 spot, really. They do. They do. I, you know, I'm I, maybe I'm delusional. Maybe that's the word when it comes to this. But I've seen enough from them in these four games together where I wouldn't be surprised if they turned in, you know, a good run of basketball here in these final 22 games. Like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think some people would be like, oh, I didn't see this coming at all. I could see them playing some pretty good ball and being around 500. I know when they had 25 games left, I said they could finish 14 and 11. I don't think that's crazy. Unlikely, maybe. Crazy? No, nah, I, I could see it. They, I've seen them play good basketball in these four four games. Yeah, they play good teams, right? Like Minnesota, I think, is better than people realize. They kind of had a little bit of a come up that I think a lot of people were hoping Sacramento were going to have uh, this season. And they played them twice and, and played them well. And then that Brooklyn game was the real stinker, right? Like, yeah, that, that one was that one was a rough one. But you also shot the worst field goal percentage you had all year. There are like 18 turnovers in that one. And it looked like a little bit of a chemistry. You could see that these guys were new. Um, and it was just a new group all playing alongside each other, a lot of drop passes and things like that. And then when you're talking about Chicago, I mean, I know they had a lot of injuries, but that's still the number one seed in the East. Mm-hmm. Like DeMar DeRozan played that. That's the first time I actually got to watch a full DeMar DeRozan game. And my God, that guy is balling. It does not matter what you're doing to him. 